Hello everyone and welcome to Cross Cultural. Today we'll be watching a video called How India Survives Without Meat, Delhi's Anti-Meat Street Food. I'm very interested to watch this because I've actually never eaten meat um, since I was a kid. My mum raised me as a vegan, so I might know some of the food in this video. So I'm very excited to watch it. In this video, we'll discover how folks in one of the biggest cities in the world survive without meat. But first, let's back up. Welcome to Delhi, the bustling capital of India and a city with over 13 million vegetarians. But you wow, may be 13 yourself, million? I didn't know it was that many vegetarians busy there. Metropolis. Well, today we'll discover their secret weapon. I'm talking about carbohydrates. Carbs are required for the body. Beyond simply pleasing our taste buds, carbs play an important role as an affordable food option for the masses. <laughs> Below. Soon, <laughs> we'll uncover what it takes to fuel one of the largest vegetarian populations in the world. That's not just awesome. From Indian pizza, a creation oh. pushing dietary boundaries with its moon dog base. That looks good. I want to try that. Consider it a junk, but I don't think this is junk. This is healthy. To a sandwich that commits to looks very healthy. Of the highest level. So give the chicken, pigs, cows, and sheep a break and get ready to explore the heaviest carb comfort foods. That well, I guess they still fry food, so it's not completely healthy. Of meat. But it looks a lot healthier than like a lot of food here. When it comes to carbs, bread usually steals the spotlight. Across the globe, we've got a smorgasbord of bread types, but none are quite as flaky as the spectacle you're about to witness. Oh, I do like bread. <laughs> Naan bread is so good. I've never actually made naan bread. I'm kind of interested to see how they'd make it. Oh. That's an interesting looking oven. Introducing Chur Chur Naan, or scrunched up bread. This innovative take on naan is extra special because after the bread is baked, the chef crumples it up, giving birth to Ooh. an extra flaky texture that'll blow your taste buds away. That's making me so hungry. It looks so good. Like every other bread adventure, our Chur Chur Naan story kicks off with the magic dough made from water, maida, a type of white flour made in the Indian subcontinent. Ghee, or clarified butter, and curd, a fermented dairy product from India. For I've heard of ghee, but I'm not quite sure what it is. And fingers pressed to create its round shape. Now, inside goes the filling, made from paneer, a traditional Indian cheese. Then there's the butter, sesame seeds, and garlic. Flatten it by hand and place it in the tandoor oven until it's golden brown. But that looks so nice. It sort of looks a bit like a tortilla, you know? Take it out and smear it with a gigantic brick of butter, leaving it glistening like a bikini model on a hot summer day or like Dwayne The Rock Johnson's forehead. <laughs> Time to smash. Wow. Serve with chole, a type of chickpea curry, onion salad, chutney, Ooh, I like chickpea rice, curry. a based condiment filled with herbs and veggies. That looks so delicious. I really want to try that now. You've got the flaky, crispy, and golden brown exterior, and the pillowy, melt-in-your-mouth flavors inside. This dish is a play of textures. With every bite, experience a satisfying crunch, followed by comforting tenderness. Oh, crunchy too. the fillings intertwined with hearty chickpea curry. Wow, two dollars. Carbs have had a bad reputation. They're very cheap to make, I imagine. Says it's all empty calories. Really? But not all <laughs> carbs are cut from the same cloth. Or I mean, uh, dough. Get ready for a contradiction <laughs> to the typical carb dilemma, courtesy of this small deli-based food stall. And soon, you may even witness healthy carbs. <laughs> Well, I guess carbs can be healthy, like it depends how you, what you eat them with as well. You know, like when you have bread, it depends what you put on the bread and stuff. 
जो रेगुलर पिज्जा आते हैं वो हमारे वी कंसिडर इट आ जंक बट आई डोंट थिंक दिस इज जंक दिस इज हेल्दी काम्स भी कुछ अमाउंट में तो दे आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द बॉडी It looks very nice. It looks filling too, so I guess it's healthy because it would like definitely fill you up. Sir, different dish के अंदर ये है पहली बात तो sir ये मैदा free है मैदा सबसे ज़्यादा नुकसान करता है पिज़्ज़ा के साथ जब आप तो चीज़ मैदा ही है मैदा नुकसान करता है अभी ये मूंद डाल का बना हुआ है तो दूसरी बात taste उससे भी अच्छा है sir कार्बोहाइड्रेट अगर आप I've had the white flour is like really bad for you don't they die it or something I think This is Moong Dal Pizza, Delhi's favorite carb creation made from a superfood, green mung beans. These unsung heroes are rich in protein, nutrients, and great for digestion. In this doll, they use these beans to prepare a healthier version of the traditional pizza. Oh, I love pizza. And pour in the batter made from mung beans and rice flour. Wow. Once the shell is golden, split it into eight pieces and open it up from the middle, revealing the plush, soft inside. Oh my God, that looks absolutely Next, delicious! Delicious toppings: diced purple onions, crisp green mm. bell peppers, and sweet carrots. But Ooh. it's not a pizza party without the cheese. Am I right? Cute, the grated mozzarella, and a few triangles of melted cheese. Oh, that looks so good! So many fillings. Fold the pizza back together and watch the cheeses mingle and melt inside. Oh wow! Add an unforgiving drink of butter on top and give it a flip. That looks so good. Gift it a few more slices of melted cheese, followed by this veggie mixture. Cover the pan with another pan, creating an Indian oven. Oh wow! Once everything is melted, it's I've never seen that before, before, like putting a pan on top of another pan. Oh, I want to try that. I want to try and make that so bad. This may be the healthiest pizza in all of India. The outside is slightly crispy with a hint of green bean flavor, while the inside is like a mosh pit of cheeses and raw vegetables. You will not soon forget this carb decision. This is a pizza you could only find created in the minds of folks here in Delhi. Wow, again so cheap. That's amazing. Fritters are among the most loved street foods Ooh. around the world, with each culture adding their own unique twist. Usually they're simple but I've tried fritters quite a few times, I like them. Veggies or meats and deep fried to perfection. Right now, we're venturing to a mom and pop restaurant in Delhi that takes fritters to a whole new size. I'm talking 10 times bigger than any fritter you've ever seen before. Oh my god, 10 times bigger? Yeah, I think I've only seen fritters as like really small. Meet Paneer Pakoda. Now, Pakoda is not just any word, its roots go way back, with mentions dating as far back as 1025 before Christ. It's not just a dish, it's a crispy, golden nugget of history. Wow. Begin with grated boiled potatoes or carby base. Season with garam masala, turmeric powder, salt, mm. coriander powder, and red Anything chili powder. Anything with potatoes, I like. Also, of hing water, also known as stinking gum or the devil's dung. This funky liquid, extracted from the roots of farula plants, is like a secret weapon in Indian kitchens, boosting flavors and preventing digestive hiccups. In another pot. Heat up ghee, toss in cumin and green chili, then add our potato blend and fresh coriander leaves. I guess ghee is like butter or oil. I think that's right. Now take a slice of bread and generously fill it with our yummy mixture. Between two pieces of toast goes a oh, big wow. chunk of paneer. Press it together to keep all the goodness inside. Then dip it in a batter made from graham flour, turmeric powder, red chili, and salt. Triple fry oh, this wow. creation in hot oil for that maximum crunch factor. Then serve with potato curry and pickles. That looks delicious. Our potato filling is the spicy, aromatic heart of this dish. The big chunk of paneer provides a strong taste of tangy cheese, while the fried graham flour batter blesses us with a satisfying crispy shell. Wow, a coda. 
Hot dogs are usually that looks really good. Meaty delights, but almost 40% of India's entire population follows a vegetarian diet. Faced with this challenge, this man ingeniously crafted a veggie version of this popular street food using hearty potatoes. Buckle up for our next adventure at an incredibly innovative food stall that's flipping the script on hot dogs. मेरे को हो गया काफी टाइम हो गया इन डॉग के लिए तो है ही मशहूर ये और जो एक बार यहाँ पे पाव भाजी खा लेगा दोबारा वो आई डोंट थिंक हैव एवर ट्राइड लाइक अ वेजिटेरियन हॉट डॉग दैट वुड बी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग नहीं नहीं पाया आज तक कोई टेस्ट कई ने ट्राई किया इनका कॉपी करने के पर आज तक सब फेल हो गए बिगिन बाय फ्राइंग अप ऑनियंस विद बटर ऑन अ हॉट टावा Crush some paneer on top, then add red chili powder and salt. Mix well before adding our hot dog filling. A blend Good combination of spices. Puree, ginger, garlic paste, and pav bhaji masala. Ooh. Then cut the hot dog bun in half. And slather the top with coriander chutney and the bottom with tamarind chutney. Top it with a few slices of tomato, more paneer, mm. and red onions. Add a dash of pav bhaji masala and some lemon juice. Follow that with ten dried lemon juice chutney. Oh, good. Of cheese and our filling. <laughs> to finish, melt butter on the tawa and let our hot dog soak it up. The outer bun gets a gentle toasting and a buttery soak. Inside, you're in for a real treat. A hearty spiced potato filling, generously coated with a medley of sauce. Oh, spicy potatoes, that sounds good. Of tangy and sweet flavors. World of culinary audacity. Our next masterpiece proudly claims the throne as the most indulgent crime in gastronomic history. A burger stuffed with a fried potato patty and slathered in chickpea curry. Get ready for the king of indulgence. Oh, that looks so nice. Meet the Chole Tiki Burger. This is the ultimate combination of India's most loved treats. So let's break it down. First, we have chole, a type of chickpea curry that's commonly served with kulcha, a traditional Indian fried bread. Second, tiki, also mm, known as alu, fried bread tiki, looks a good. popular snack made from a fried potato patty. Then finally, there are the burger buns to bring everything together. Ooh. Start by mashing a few potato balls and frying them up. Then we fry Ooh. up the burger buns. I've had a similar thing to that with like fried potato and it was so delicious. In half and place the potato patty inside, along with slices of red onions and tomatoes. Now cut it into a dozen pieces and put it on a plate. The potatoes make like really good burgers. Scoops of chole curry. I know it's because they, they are a carb, it's got like a really good texture to it, maybe? This dish is the epitome of carb loading. Your heart may protest, but if it soldiers through, a cozy nap awaits. The chole is thick and hearty. The potato patty offers a slight crunch. The tomatoes help cut through the heavy flavors and the burger, well, the burger makes everything better. Now that we've tried five spectacular carb-loaded deli dishes, it's time to choose the one that makes cheating on your keto diet totally <laughs> worth it. Was it the flaky churchur naan, the healthy moong dal pizza, the cheese stuffed pakoda, the vegetarian paneer hot dog? Oh, that's a hard choice. Burger? I think I'd go with the the chole tiki what burger. I'm choosing today is the paneer pakoda. Not only was it stuffed with giant cheese blocks that could block your arteries, like New York rush hour traffic, but they triple fried that bad boy, making it the ultimate crunchy comfort food. So how about you? Which one of these Indian oh. coma inducing carb mountains would you try? <laughs> Drop your answer in the comments downstairs. And for more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Introducing best. Wow, well, I don't know. I think that the pizza, the pizza definitely looked amazing. I think that was like my favorite thing. I really want to try that pizza. It just looked so cool, you know, the way they fold it and everything. And the burger made out of the potatoes looked so delicious. I just think, yeah, that's something I would absolutely love because I love like anything with potatoes and just anything with like lots of vegetables, really. And like spices and everything, like. I don't know, like, I think the 
Indian food, like, because so many of them are vegetarian, maybe, like, it just, it makes them be able to, like, create so many more, like, unique dishes and, like, like, makes, like, most people, like, better at cooking, I think, when, you know, like, where I'm from, like, I feel like a lot of the staple dishes are very, like, meat-based, so it's very hard for a lot of people to find alternatives, but I feel like a lot of Indian food, like, obviously it's already made for, like, being a vegetarian, so it's just perfect, but I'm so, so hungry after that. Like, I really want to try to cook that pizza. I do some cooking, so I think maybe I could do it. Um, putting, like, the, the pan on top of the other pan looks sort of, looks sort of tricky. Uh, I don't know if, like, I'm that good a cook to do that, but yeah, I would really like to try that. Like, what do you think looked like the best one? I would be interested to know your thoughts. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I would love it if you would leave a comment, like and subscribe and just share your thoughts down below and let me know what you thought of the video and what was your favourite dish. I mean they all looked amazing. I would try like every single item that was there, like I would just try it all. I don't care about the carbs or anything because it just all looked so delicious. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will... See you soon. Bye.